Good morning, this is Steve Koster with Espresso Engineering. We're here in Denver for the last day of the EMC Symposium and we're in the ETS Lingren booth and we get a chance to catch up with Yari Vickstead to talk about one of their new products. Yari, how are you doing today? Great, thank you. How are very, you? Very good, thank you. Now, what are we going to look at? What we're looking here is uh, our newest uh, uh, model of our antenna tower product line and it's uh, designed uh, for the requirements on the NCC 63.4 and the FCC uh, requirements where you need to have the cone of radiation above one gigahertz uh, pointed towards your EUT when you're doing the emission testing. That's very good. Well, what, well sh show us around it a little bit, would you? Okay. So what we have here, it's, uh, like I mentioned, the newest model of our antenna towers. What we have done here, we have uh, make this smaller so that we can upgrade existing EMC facilities that have uh, older non boresite towers. We call it the boresite when the antenna is actually tilting towards the EUT. So this is a boresite tower where the cone of radiation is pointed towards the EUT. So our customer base who has a fixed towers that doesn't do the boresighting, they can uh, just order this antenna tower and fit their existing facilities without uh, doing uh, facility work, making the chamber larger to accommodate larger boresight tower. Um, so when I start operating this, you will notice that the antenna that we have placed here um, actually starts tilting when it goes higher up to four meters so that the cone of radiation, the 3 dp beam width, it's actually pointed towards whatever the test distance is. In this case, we have selected the three meter test distance. So you can see that the antenna starts tilting so that the, uh, towards the three meter test distance. Let's go ahead and run that. So it starts moving upwards and you can see that the antenna starts tilting and the higher it goes, the deeper the angle is. And it will do this all the way up to four meters as the standard is requiring to go uh, scan from one meters to four meters. So the angle is gonna be the deepest when it gets to the four meters. And what you see here is also because you need to do the testing with both horizontal and vertical polarization, we have airlines that does the polarization automatically. Right now we don't have those hooked, but if this would be hooked, you can press the button or the software uh, using our tile software, you could have that select so that it changes the polarization when needed. And I put it in full scan mode, so it just basically runs up and down on the scanning. So I will stop it when it comes down here at the one meter again. And this is all run from this EM center box, yeah? Correct. This is our newest uh, development in our um, uh, positioning uh, controllers. We have our older 2090 ver uh, version of this, but this is our new version to running all our turntables, towers, and positioning. Plus we can have all the other um, typically uh, EMC lab related instrument that accommodated in one box. Uh, it is a seven slot system. If you look on the back there, there's a seven different slot that you can have your power meter blocking cards, you can have your signal generator blocking cards, you can have your field monitor blocking cards, um, you can have some R switching in there, um, and there's other blocking cards um, uh, under development that we're developing there as well. So you can take a, a lot of instrument that you can see in the typical EMC laboratory in you know separate boxes, and you can put them all in this one box that controls all of them. It's very good. It sounds very upgradable, depending on which projects you want us to, to, to do. Absolutely. Impressive antenna mast. Uh, I do know that a lot of labs are struggling with that boresight measurement. Uh, there's one solution right there. Again, this is Steve Koster from Espresso Engineering from Denver. And uh, Yari, thank you very much for showing us that system. No problem. Thank you. All right. Have a great day.